as you can see, when you look around the room, some of these products, they look very genuine um, to, to the naked eye. And they may look real, but they're just some of the millions of dollars of counterfeit merchandise that flow into Chicago every year. And with the holiday season fast approaching, U.S. Customs officials are showing us what they seized and warning about the dangers of buying counterfeit goods. Fox 32's Dame Placco has the story at O'Hare. So this is just a fraction of what's out there. U.S. Customs agents and Homeland Security officers today showing off some of the $12 million worth of counterfeit goods seized coming into Chicago over the past year. A lot of it is fake designer goods like handbags from Gucci, Christian Dior, Burberry, and Chanel, expensive-looking sunglasses, and North Face winter jackets, and also boxes and boxes of high-end Rolex watches. And even counterfeit cash. There's a trick to passing these bogus Benjamins. They stick it between real money and they just pass it off, like just hand you the whole stack and you just look at it and you're like, oh, that's right. When you get home, you thumb through it and you're like, what is this? Much of the fake stuff comes in large shipments from China and India. Agents say it's not a victimless crime, robbing companies, designers, artists, and scientists of the profits from their work. Conservative estimates, it's a 500 to 600 billion dollar a year industry. It actually rivals that of the, the global drug trade. It's not a fight that we're necessarily winning, um, but we got to fight like hell to stop it. So, how do you tell what's fake from what's real? They say look for the three P's price, placement, and packaging. And while it's a year round problem, these agents say the season of giving often becomes the season of grifting. Yes, we always prepare for a Christmas rush. Um, we are running operations most of the time just to really do a better job of intercepting them. And they also warn that when you buy counterfeit goods online, you're more likely to become a victim of identity theft. At O'Hare, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.